Hello? If you're wondering what I'm doing with these glasses, well these are for my scuba diving lessons. You know about scuba diving, right? Unlike swimmers who keep themselves above water, scuba divers go deep into the ocean. And the ocean world is full of amazing and wonderful creatures like octopus and starfishes. Did you know that the starfish is actually not a fish? Because fishes have bones and starfishes, they don't. But why do starfishes not have any bones? Let's do an experiment to see what it's like to live deep in the ocean. Hello friends, I am Albert Einstein and welcome to my lab where you and I will be exploring science beyond your books, around us, in things that surround us. So, let's get started. Today's experiment is Bottle Fountain. For this experiment, we need six things. Number one, a plastic container or an empty bottle. Number two, a paper strip that has three points at an equal distance. Number three, a screwdriver or any other pointy object. Number four, a candle. And five, a matchbox. And finally, some colored water. Let's go! We begin by punching three holes in the container. With this, we are using a paper strip that has three points, each five centimeter apart. Now paste the paper strip on the container, just like this. Time to light a candle. And now we heat the pointy end of the screwdriver. Time to punch some holes. Ooh. Aha! And there you have it. Remove the paper strip and pour some colored water into the container. Fill it up. Huh, notice how the water flows out differently from each hole. Why is this happening? Hmm, let's find out. Why did the water flow out differently from each hole? Now I know what you might be thinking. The water flows out differently from each hole because the holes have been made at different heights. But how does the height of the holes affect the pressure of the water? If you look carefully, you'll see that the water comes out from the bottommost hole with so much pressure and reaches the farthest. This happens because the weight of all the water above the bottommost hole puts pressure on the layer of the water below. This shows us more water is equal to more pressure. Moving up to the centre hole. Because there is lesser water above the centre hole, the water comes out with lesser pressure from the centre hole than the bottommost hole. And finally, as we reach all the way to the topmost hole, there's very little water putting pressure on this layer of water. So, the water comes out from the topmost hole with much lesser pressure than the centre hole and the bottommost hole. This shows us that the pressure is the lowest at the top and highest at the bottom. Hence proven, water pressure increases with depth. If water pressure increases with depth, imagine how much pressure would our little starfish feel with all the weight of the ocean water above it. Well, starfishes can survive as deep as 20,000 feet and so they feel approximately 600 times more pressure than you and I on the surface. 600 times! Well, I don't think I'm gonna dive that deep. I may be a star scientist, but I'm no starfish, you see? Because I can dive that deep, but it would break all my bones. Oh, no wonder! Starfishes don't have bones. So now you see why deep sea creatures like octopus and starfish don't have bones? because they have to deal with so much water pressure. So from this experiment, we know that water has pressure and this pressure increases as we go deeper. Now while you dive deeper into the underwater world, 
I better head back to my scuba diver. So what are you waiting for? Go grab your things and let's get funneling. Toodles!